He was named the best teacher in America a decade ago, and now this local teacher says a recent worldwide study proves that U.S. schools are drastically far behind other countries. New at 5, 10 News reporter Joe Little reveals the controversial steps he says we need to take to catch up. The grades aren't good. I'm extremely disappointed. According to the Program for International Student Assessment, the United States is not doing well in the classroom. Within an industry. One time National Teacher of the Year Keith Ballard says we have no one to blame but ourselves. We are failing many kids here in America. In three categories, the United States fell woefully behind other countries, especially China. In reading, the U.S. ranks 24th, science 28th, and math a hideous 36th. At the same time, we spend the second most per student in the world. Thank you. Ballard, a South Bay music teacher, says the countries at the top realize early on that some kids aren't cut out for college. The main thing is that they don't believe that all kids are going to go to college. Ballard believes the 50% of kids who drop out before high school graduation would be better off selecting a vocational school when they turn 14. That's exactly what I'm advocating. Ballard has visited classrooms in more than 80 countries like Germany. Yeah. He says if we were more like them, we'd have fewer dropouts and more people graduating from vocational schools ready for the workforce. We're either going to have to compete and work harder and do the things we need to do or we're going to be left out in the world. He adds, Americans don't spend enough time in the classroom. California kids go to school about 175 days a year. Chinese kids go 230. And don't get them started on football. If we could figure out a way to harness our energy for organized sports and, and put that into our academics, we would definitely be number one. He says the proof is in the pudding, or in this case, the world's report card. Joe Little, 10 News.